New here at three, there's a mom and daughter in Seminole Heights who are defying the odds during this pandemic. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd shows us how they're opening up their dream business. Whether you're ordering ice cream, cupcakes, or cookies, the goal is always the same for this mother and daughter combination. They just want to make sure they sweeten up your day. While Zoe Vera scoops out a hunk of peanut butter ice cream, her daughter Emily Macias tops off a milkshake with whipped cream. Their bond is evident as they slide past one another behind the counter of their brand new shop, Seabade's Creamery. We're like a team. Yeah, so. we're a very good team. So. Who's the boss? We both are. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Zoe and Emily had planned to open their dream business in March, a plan that quickly melted away due to the pandemic. And when all this shut down, we were like, what do we do? But the women thought outside the cone designing a walk-up window for customers. We said we're gonna make it happen no matter what. And they lean heavily on their Puerto Rican roots, including grandma's secret recipe. We have an abuelita's cafe con leche, which is inspired by our great grandma. It tastes like what she used to make for us. From decorations to desserts, the ice cream parlor is filled with mermaids. It's gotten the attention of customers of all ages. So welcome, it kind of fits because we're from an island and we're women, so we're like, we're the mermaids, you know? People living in Seminole Heights say this type of family-oriented business puts a smile on their face. I feel it's a great improvement for the neighborhood. I'm a minority myself, and I just love supporting local businesses like this. It's been a tough year for most of us, and they feel right now everyone could use a little sugar rush. Especially in Seminole Heights, we get a lot of local supporters, so we're really happy about that. For sure, yeah. yeah. In Seminole Heights, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News.